happy Halloween, everybody. Assuming that we have no copy copyright issues and we get to upload this on Halloween. That's yes. the plan. Welcome back. And we've got, I put a spell on you in regards mm-hmm. to Halloween spookiness. Yes. The other one we're hoping to get up is Frankenstein by Edgar Winter. Yes. And um, so that's our, our theme for Halloween. It's going to be Frankenstein and I put a spell on you. Witches and monsters. Spooky. And we've got one song done from Credence Clearwater Revival, CCR, yes. if you want to cut down on the syllables. CCR. And, <laughs> and we did Born on the Bayou. That was live at Woodstock. I liked that one. It was great. Um, but it wasn't a studio rendition, so I'm excited to check this one out, see the clarity, because his vocal was crazy. So good. Uh, just blew us away, right? And um, so in this one, we're doing I Put a Spell on You. Uh, I think it's Scream and Jay Hawkins that initially did this mm-hmm. song. Okay. So it wasn't theirs. They did, they're did. doing a cover of it. Yeah. I think we maybe did. I don't know if it's the same version, but I assume it is. Angelina Jordan, when we first started the channel, mm-hmm. I think did a cover when she was super, super young yeah. of I Put a Spell on You. So I'm, I believe it's probably the same one. Yeah. Um, anyways. anyways. I don't really like remember the lyrics or anything from that, like off the top of my no, head. No, I don't though, remember so. it at all. Yeah. Um, I think we were just enamored with Angelina's vocal performance in that yeah. one. So anyways, we got a, um, a pop quiz for you guys. Some fun trivia. Yeah. And uh, so Samantha's going to give you a little pop quiz. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we will let you know what that answer is. Okay. So our trivia question is, when did CCR formally announce their disbanding? Yes. When did the breakup happen? Yes. If you know that, you can maybe leave us a comment now, yeah. or you can wait till the end of the video, and we'll give you that answer, like I said. Yeah, and if you didn't, don't know, you can learn something new. Yeah. Anyways, I'm excited to check out more Credence Clearwater Revival. Let's get our Halloween party started. Let's do it. right there. That's wild.
crazy how the much. Solar's going on forever. It's so sick. Oh, the guitar, you're saying, yeah. yeah. Um, I was just going to say, though, like, it's crazy how much they haven't given us a vocal on there. Yeah, there's a lot of instrumentation. It's great. In I love it. Yeah, lots but of energy. It's really it's, cool. It's a great song. Yeah. You know, and it's that, it even has that spooky vibe. It does, to it. yeah. You know, the use of the that? guitar and stuff, Darkness, right? Darkness. Like, yeah. Yeah. And even the way, you know, they're playing the solo kind of gives you that vibe, yeah. too, right? Um, I feel like the drums are very strong in this, too. Yeah, true. They're very prominent. Yeah. Um, but I do miss him. <laughs> I love his vocal. Yeah, just know, in so that I. beginning, it's yeah. so fantastic. Yeah, very strong. Definitely it one of the best that, I've like, heard. Kind of like bluesy, like raspy yeah. kind of voice. Definitely one of the best I've heard. Yeah, so good. And it's great. Now that we listen to this, I do actually remember which cover was also done by Angelina Jordan. It was one where she was really, really young. Yeah, and I remember because of the the power in the vocal from him it reminded me of like how she had the same kind of energy right, with her right i can't she recall that one but this is crazy like i said i just you know i hope we get a little more at the back end here because yeah. i'm digging its vocal a whole lot like yeah, i said yeah, but I know, the so overall good. the song i'm loving it as well so you ready to get yeah. back into it let's do it I'll receive. Cause you're mine. You better stop the thing that you're doing. I said, oh, watch out. I ain't lying. Sorry, did you see it? See what? The black cat. No. We have a cat. We love cats. She loves cats. So yes. Got to rewind it so you can see that. crazy that was wild that was sick though i feel like it is also very on point with kind of their sound like i feel like the last one that we did born on a bayou kind of had that similar kind of like vibe like the southern, southern rock feel that well, rock bluesy kind of and even you know not that we did their version of it but we um did the tina turner proud mary and i feel like even that song like just the style of the song seems like something that would fit within that as well mm. i would like to hear that maybe yes, at some point because them. yeah yeah i assume it's it's pretty uh different than what we heard from tina Turner. <laughs> but um a great great song and like you said they have definitely got a you know southern rock blues vibe mm, to which them i really but, like but they're not from that area of the world so <laughs> i think you guys were saying in the comments from california but I could be wrong yeah. about that one. I like their sound, um, though. It's really good. Yeah, so uh, did it Did it give you the spooky vibes at all? A I mean, little bit. The, a little bit the of like witch witchy. Ooh, I put a spell blue, on you. The black cat with the, yeah. the witch type Yeah, I thing. feel like it gave me like very like dark, kind of yes. possessive. Yes. Like, I'm going to cast a spell on you. Yes. Like a witch. Yes. And it, the song lyrics sounded like it was talking about obsession, right? Obsession mm -hmm. of love, basically. Yeah. And that you try anything funny... <laughs> Well, Good guess luck. what? We're coming for you with those spells. Yeah. That's the vibe I got. But um, Me too. 
you know, just so, so amazing with the vocal. Like I said, I uh, love the sound overall. Great song, great groove, like you mentioned with the drums. Um, and uh, I thought it was fitting for Halloween. Yeah, no, for sure. And I think that the instrumentation really, really complemented like the vibe of like the lyrics and the vibe of the song mm. it fit together very nicely. Yeah, you know, unique in the messaging of the song as well. In the way, like you said, the instrumentation of the drums and stuff had this kind of, you know, vibrant, high energy feel. But mm-hmm. the song is like an obsessive love song. Yeah. You know, it's really unique how they blended that together nicely but yeah. um that's it from us for this one this is this is going to be um our second from ccr so now you got to recommend a little bit more in those comments yes Let we us know definitely want to see more what you'd like to see next um i was actually going to do a different one uh from them i can't remember what which one it was you guys had mentioned it a few times in the comments but i thought oh no halloween's coming up put i put a spell on you it sounds like a great idea yeah. to do that one so that's why we're here so yeah. now you can let us know which one you'd like to see next yeah. from us and um, you gotta let them know the answer to the question which was when did CCR announce their disbanding? And it was October 16th, 1972, which was six months after their last tour had been completed. They broke up, and that's unfortunate. Sad. They broke up, but that doesn't mean we can't check out that catalog yes. before I want to check out more. Me you too. Check out more? Yeah. Yeah, I do as well. So hopefully you guys had a great day today. Happy Halloween, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed, this is your first time on the channel. Hit the notification bell and the subscription button right now, and you won't miss anything from us going forward. And how how many videos do we drop every single day, Samantha? At least two. At least two. So you got that to look forward to. We'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.